I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really expecting too much from Callaway in 2023. Then, Paradigm came along. So, what does Paradigm, with a Y, actually mean? Well, Callaway are trying to make a new paradigm, a new example society for golfers, and they're doing this with this brand new driver, with some industry-first technology. The main point is this 360-degree carbon chassis. When I take off the head cover, which is a bit naff, we are exposed to one of the best-looking drivers I've seen in the last few years. This paradigm with this lovely colour scheme of gold and blue, with an unbelievable look down at a dress as well, which I will get onto, is a big step up from Callaway. And it needs to be, because although they haven't made bad drivers in the past, something needs to change for 2023. And I do think the Paradigm Metalwoods is a good step in the right direction. This driver you can see is very, very carbon orientated with the 360 degree carbon chassis, which you can see on the crown and also down at dress. This carbon chassis is 44% lighter than its predecessor, meaning that you can reposition this 44% lighter weight to increase MOI and forgiveness. There are three models in play, the standard Paradigm, Paradigm X, and the Paradigm Triple Diamond, which I've got here. But there are some differences between the three. I'm just gonna focus on the Triple Diamond today, but this one here, you've got two movable weights here, two chain to spin. The main flagship model, you've also got some adjustable weighting as well. I will do a future video comparing the three. So, more carbon, more MOI, more forgiveness, higher price, and a nicer looking club. Is that gonna make it a better driver? Just about, but not for the reasons you think. Now, there was nothing wrong with the Callaway Rogue ST. We all know that. It was one of my favorite drivers of last year. It was very forgiving and aesthetically it looked great, but it wasn't the fastest. That probably went to the TaylorMade Stealth. This year, it's a lot closer. I've hit the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond a lot. First up was over in Dubai, which was an amazing experience. And to be honest, I didn't like it to begin with. I was spraying it all over the place, left, right, and it was really spinny over on the GC quad. But luckily enough, I had a fitter with me to actually fine tune this driver, get me the right measurements over on this adjustable shaft and move the weights around. By being able to do that, I did get a driver that was perfect for my swing at the time, but it's changed a little bit since then. So I had to do a little bit of tinkering when it arrived and I've done a lot of testing over at Gray's Golf using a GC quad. This thing, it's fast, very fast. After a few pretty woeful shots to begin with, I was able to get it up to any other driver I've hit before, averaging mid 180 mile an hour ball speed and topping out at 187 miles an hour. But you don't really wanna know about how fast it is because we all hit it pretty fast. It's what matters when you hit it all over the place, which is important. The Triple Diamond is the least forgiving model of the three, but it's still supposed to be quite high MOI. What I found to be quite interesting with this model is those off-center shots. And I was getting some data that I have never really seen before with a driver, pretty much all over the club face. This is a low spinning beast. And I really do mean that. I've never hit a driver which spins as low as the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. I'm a high spinning player. I always get three, 4,000 RPM with a driver. Did not get this at all with the Paradigm Triple Diamond. And that's wherever across the face. Usually when you hit it on the heel, you do tend to get some pretty high spinning shots. Didn't get that at all. I was getting almost too low spin in some instances. So if you are a player who struggles with high spin, try out the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond because the spin numbers that I was getting was incredible, extremely consistent across the face. Let's hit some shots now. I've got the drone up by this green here. It's about 330 yards. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere close, but I'm just gonna see how I get on with some five or six golf balls and show you guys why I think this driver is very consistent all across the face, even more so than the Rogue ST. Is it worth it though? We'll get to that. Oh, fantastic shot. Just left side. I mean, some could say that the spin, maybe on miss hits, is too low, because if you're hitting it across the toe when it is a little bit too low spin, it drops out the sky, is what I found. Absolute bullet. Bit low on the face, but we're getting consistent dispersion there. Oh, it's sent. Get left. Oh, nearly.
The Callaway Paradigm driver really is very impressive. If you're talking about a rough consumer life cycle of four to five years for a driver, you will see some big improvements for the Callaway Paradigm compared to five or six years ago. If we're talking about this year to last year's the Rogue ST, there is an improved ball speed and a slightly improved feel as well. A bit more solid, a bit more springy off the face. For those low spinning players like myself, the Triple Diamond, I have to mention how low spinning this is. When you put the movable weights, the heavier weights in the front, as I have done, you really get low spin the lowest spinning driver I've ever tested and that's all across the face. If you struggle with spin, try the triple diamond out. Put that weight at the front and you really will see that low spin, that 16, 17, 1800 spin. If you're getting that launch right, that's going to sail. The one caveat I do have though with Callaway and the Paradigm is the price. RRP of £599 in this cost of living crisis feels like a little bit of a slap in the face. It's not just Callaway, I'm not just targeting them. It seems that all the drivers this year will be rather expensive for 2023. No driver's worth 600 quid. Yes, it'll be a little bit cheaper at retailers, but that's so expensive and it's gonna be like that for every single brand. So be warned. If you are thinking of getting the Callaway Paradigm driver, get custom fitted. I say this in every single video, but it really does apply to the Callaway Paradigm this year. You've got quite a lot of adjustability, and if you buy it off the rack, it might be absolutely pants for you. Whereas if you get fitted, you have the one that stripes it down the fairway every single time. It's more important than ever. So go to a fitter, go to an experiential fitter, and find out which one's right for you. Guys, if you have any questions about the Callaway Paradigm Metalwood range, I've got the fairy woods and irons coming this week as well. Let me know down in the comments. There's plenty of comparisons coming soon, so don't you worry. If you are new to Golf Magic, guys, smash that subscribe button, and if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like as well. That's it from me today, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.